Hello everyone. Today we will talk about emotional intelligence. We all understand that all a human beings are made out of 206 bones and similar number of muscles. So many similarities that we possess between one another. Believe me or not when I say it is equal amount of differences and we are so different from one another. How are we different from one another? Look at us. Some one of us are tall, some one are short, some one have some weight issues, some are very light weighted. This is only about the physical features that are spoken around. Despite those number of muscles and those number of same numbers of bones that we all have. In between us, we have different personalities. When I say personality, we have got different taste. We have different uh, modus operandi of speaking or communicating with one another. We have different wants, different ways to show our emotions. We have got different requirements. If we hope to succeed in life, we need to navigate through this. And it all takes a little bit of tact and a lot of cleverness. This is where emotional intelligence is so... Emotional intelligence, better known as EI, is the ability to identify, most importantly, assess and manage emotion in oneself and that of the others. If you can do so, you are a successful person. The su success mantra has been identified. In other words, what do we want to say around it? It's a combination of emotional skills. It's a combination of social skills. It is a combination of our abilities and competencies. This potpourri of combination influences our overall capacity to cope effectively with the demands and the pressure of work and life. Emotional quotient or EQ is how we measure EI or emotional intelligence. So what do you need to understand about emotion, emotions? When you are able to understand emotions, you are being able to relate better with other people, form stronger bonds, healthier relationships, achieve much awaited success at your work and definitely have a satisfying life ahead of your own. Emotional intelligence is a vital thing. Did I say it's the success mantra to be a successful person? The ability to express and control our own emotion is of utmost importance. At the same time, our ability to understand, interpret and respond to the emotion of the others is equally important. If we can understand, if we can predict what a person is undergoing through and accordingly suit our emotion, accordingly tactfully design our behavior, you will be in the good books of the others and that person would be worn away by your charm. You can identify, realize when a friend is feeling sad, your co-worker is angry, right? Psychologists refer to this ability as emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, some researchers suggest, can be learned and often strengthened, while others claim it is an inborn characteristic. Personally speaking, I think it can be cultivated. We need to be a little bit more emotive, passionate and compassionate towards one another. And that is all it takes to become an emotionally intelligent being. Emotional intelligence is important to communicate effectively. What did I say? Empathize with others, overcome challenges, diffuse conflict. Emotional intelligence impart many different aspects of your daily life, such as the way you behave, the way you interact, the way you conduct yourself with others is so vital. So what are the four components? There are basically four components, self-awareness, self-management, social awareness and relationship management. Did you, did you see what, what, what were the first two? It is all about concerning about self. That is you as an individual. The next one was social. That means you and your surroundings. And the last one was of the bond that you create with your surrounding. That is what is called as relationship management. So what is self-awareness? Your understanding of your strength and weakness, your motivation factors and how and why you respond to a situation in a particular fashion. That is what a self-awareness is all about. It. If tempers are flaring, if everybody is anger, if the situation uh, is getting out of hand, 
there are certain individuals who can keep their mind calm at peace and collectively work their thoughts out how to get the best of the situation and then there are other people who will get flow with the tempers get angry get agitated so which one do you want to be and that is what the self awareness is all about self awareness lies at the heart of emotional intelligence model to a great extent influences our ability to develop the other competencies it enables us to sustain our behavior over time despite setbacks in short self understanding self awareness is all about your mood and your emotion if you can manage your mood if you can manage your emotion if you can control your feelings display the behavior requisite behavior you are a self aware in now we'll come to the next concepts is social awareness under this con context ei is the ability to hear and understand other thoughts that means what other people are going through is he or she under stress or is he or she feeling elated the feelings the concerns whether they are displaying or they are undergoing or unspoken it's been hidden if you can uncover those things it is being aware of the others needs it covers how we manage the emotions of the others that is social awareness first one was self awareness this is all of social awareness if you look at and now we come to self management now once you have understood about your requirements once you have understood about other requirements now you got to manipulate your behavior your expressions of your understanding so as to it doesn't hamper others feelings and emotion and that is what is self management it is how effectively we manage our own emotion how well we control our own responses to the ever challenging situation to ever dynamic uh, outcomes that is been flowing around emotion emotional self control is the ability to keep impulsive feeling and emotion under control it is already been said and most of you have heard it think and think twice before you act it's like uh, you cannot put the bullet into the gun once it has been fired so it is better you think before you act emotional intelligence relationship management the last fundamental block is the relationship management it is all about social skill it is our ability to apply emotional understanding in our dealings with others this is where emotional intelligence becomes most visible to the people we deal with putting emotional intelligence to work we are working not only with the uh, machines we are also working with our co-workers we are also working with the superiors we are also working with the subordinate if you can understand their feeling if you can understand their mood and tune our behavior according to their requirement it includes the ability to develop relationship it includes the ability to develop rapport it includes the ability to develop trust the culmination of three dimensions of intelligence so is it important the question is it is it important yes definitely we are social animals we are not wild animals we behave in a particular fashion we live in a society there in a society there are rules and regulations so emotional intelligence is of utmost importance emotional intelligence can help you navigate social complexities of workplace definitely motivate others excel in your career lead and become a, a person of interest in fact many company now view emotional intelligence as more important than technical ability and requires emotional quotient testing before hiring so why is emotional intelligence so important first it is a physical health they say a healthy mind is always stays in a healthy body so if you are unable to manage your stress level it can lead to serious health problems remember a health is everything they always mention health is wealth if health is gone nothing can be cut was then enough if wealth is gone you can still recuperate some of it or most of it or many much more times whatever we lost uncontrolled stress can raise blood pressure suppress human immune system increase the risk of heart attack stroke contribute to infertility speed up the aging process the first step to improve emotional intelligence is to learn how to stress 
your mental health. Uncontrolled stress can also impact your mental health. This is a psychological aspect that needs to be, which is very vulnerable to anxiety and depression. If you are able to understand and manage your emotion, you will also be open to mood swings. And inability to form strong relationship can leave you feeling absolutely isolated, very much lonely. So please, your mental health is equally good, in fact more important than your physical health. I have repeatedly said a healthy mind occupies only a healthy body. We talk about your relationship by understanding your emotion, how to control them. You are better able to express how you feel and understand how others are feeling. This allows you to communicate more effectively, forge stronger relationship both at work and in your person. All information to the brain comes through our senses. We have so many senses in accordance of touch. Uh, touch in accordance of taste, in according of smell, in accordance of hear, in accordance of feeling, and so on and so forth. So these the brain is getting data from all the senses, and when this become overwhelmingly stressed or emotional, instinct will take over. Ability to act will be limited to fight, to flight or freeze response. So basically, what we are going to do, either we got to run away or we're going to try, try try to take the situation head on or probably freeze altogether, altogether inability to act at all <clears throat> therefore to have an access to a wide range of choices and the ability to make good decision we need to be able to bring in emotions into balance and definitely at will to you improve your emotional intelligence and your decision making ability you need to understand and manage your emotion. First and foremost thing is your abilities to understand yourself, your moods, your thought process, your patience, your pain points. This accomplished by developing key skills of controlling and managing overwhelming stress. This is very true. It is you as a person, it is you as an individual who should be the center of your own universe. If the pivotal role is stronger enough, I think it can be managed. Developing emotional intelligence through few key skills. <clears throat> what are they? By, by reducing stress, remaining focused and stay connected to yourself and others. Be social. The communication channel has to be always be open. You should always have a healthy lifestyle. You should have the right food at the right time. You can do this by learning five key skills. The first two skills are essential for controlling and managing. Stress and the last three skills are all about communication. Did I say communication? Never ever stop communication. We'll talk about it. Those five skills. The ability to quickly reduce stress in a moment in a variety of settings. <coughs> Think differently. Think out of box. You should not get yourself immersed in a situation. No wonder how bad or how, how good the situation would be going in your favor or against you. The ability to recognize your emotion and keep them from overwhelming you. Never bask in the glories. They say never give and never promise when you are very happy and never curse when you are very angry. So you need to keep your emotion at 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 uh, within your uh, periphery. The emotion should never overwhelm you. The ability to connect emotionally with others by using non-verbal communication at times. Yes. You might be communicating through a group of people, but at times, at times your eye speak, speaks volumes than what your mouth would be uttering. The ability to use humor and play to stay connected in a challenging situation. The ability to resolve conflict positively. That is most importantly with confidence. Positivity should be the key buzzword. So how do you raise your emotional intelligence? In order to permanently change behavior in a way that stand up under pressure, you need to learn how to overcome stress in the moment, stress in your relationship by remaining emotionally stable, emotionally aware. This means that you can't simply read into emotional intelligence in order to master it. You have to experience and practice skills in your everyday life. 
so this is what you need to understand you should keep your head very cool very calm at any given point of situation if things are going your way don't let let not the adrenaline hormone rush through you don't get over humor laughter they play a very natural antidote to life difficulties always be cheerful that is what you want to go they lighten your burdens often helps you to keep things in perspective a good hearty laugh reduces stress elevates mood and bring your nervous system back balances with this i come to an end i suppose this should be sufficient for you to understand what emotional intelligence is all about you thank you for watching this video